morning YouTube here's what we got going on we got AC moved we got the intercooler pipe out of the way we got the wheels off inner liners out got the PCV hoses moved got electrical disconnected Got the air box tubing out, Got the mouthpiece out, the downpipes unbolted. Can't see shit. Just have to move the rest of the exhaust side, downpipe, up pipes. Get the pedestal bolts out. Undo the oil coolant lines and that should be it then, then she's ready to come out a few, few things to touch on before we get to the next part always disconnect the batteries uh, well I jacked it up took the wheels off then lowered it down that way it's a little bit easier to get get to the engine bay Um, let's see. That's about it. Catch you on the next thing. Back again. Got it out. What a mess. These pedestal bolts are freaking terrible. Snap two up pipe bolts. The engine bay, put it out. Oil line, one coolant line, the other coolant line. You have to disconnect. The oil return line bolts. As I say, it's not a fun job. But it's going. Ugh, here's the two snapped Up pipe bolts. I unbolted the driver's side up pipe completely. Had to move it out of the way to get to the oil return line bolts. There's a heat shield covering the driver's side up pipe that was kind of a pain in the butt to get out. So I had to move the glow plug module, which goes on that silver piece right there. It's hanging down over here. Show you all the parts that are out. It's part of the global module. Heat shield for driver side up pipe. Turbo heat shield. Air intake tube. Down pipe. Mouthpiece. And intercooler pipe. Been a fun job, but I'm ready to get this shit over with. Short rundown of what we gotta do here. That's where the oil drain line goes. Some new turbo oil drain line. Cool line. Disconnects there. They bolt right here and here. Gotta replace these two seals. Got to get new hose from here to the metal hose on the engine. I just did a stock turbo 
completely rebuilt by XS Boost in Maston, Ohio. Yeah, billet wheel, um, upgraded bearings, new vane control solenoid, and completely coated. I uh, thought about painting the pressure side, but I figured I'd just leave it. It's going to look like this after another 100,000 miles anyway. Yep. I'm getting there. So far, I got probably about four hours into this. Most guys say it takes about 10, but I'm cutting it down a little bit. This is just about every tool I've used to get it out. Yeah, nuts. I had to use two swivels with a smaller extension in between and 17 millimeter to get these to get this pedestal bolt out. Which side? Yeah, this pedestal bolt out. I have to fish it. To fish it down in here. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but this is what it is. Should be interesting putting it back in. Yeah. They don't give you much space under here. What I was told is the factory calls for removal of the transmission or the cab to get the turbo out which I think is ridiculous another thing you can do is put your hood in the maintenance position and take this bolt out lift your hood up and put it here but my CV antenna mount is in the way and I didn't really care to so I just left it well See you in the next segment. Final update for today. That's where I got all my gaskets. Merchant Automotive, specialized in Duramax and Allison. Make sure you do all the uh, feed line gaskets. Those are the old ones. Come in a kit. Broke a couple of pipe bolts. Some new ones from Chevy. Expensive from the dealer. 27 bucks for freaking four. Here's the lines put on the new turbo. That's where those new feed line gaskets go. End them all up. Oil drain line. Ready to install hopefully tomorrow. Old turbo. Nasty. Got a little, little veins in there. Now you can see. Trying to hold it against there. I can't really tell, but it looks like those veins. Guides are a little. I don't know if that's how they come from the factory, but they look terrible. Like wired out. They're right in there. It's the exhaust side. So it controls the veins. Use turbo for sale. Vein position sensor. You can tell. I don't know if you can see the tip. Looks like it's wore down. Yeah. Well, hopefully tomorrow. We'll get this all put back together. What's up, back again? Turbo's finally in. Got the three pedestal bolts 
tighten down the oil oil feed line the oil drain lines tight got to hook up the coolant lines put clamps on those and uh, start working on uh, the up pipes and then the down pipe and wrap the rest up hopefully get this thing buttoned up some new uh, up pipe gaskets from Merchant Automotive as well catch you on the next part well got it all buttoned up got a new 3 inch intercooler pipe for the driver's side from MBRP um, really the hardest part getting it back in is putting those pedestal bolt the one pedestal bolt that you can't see in um, it's double checking all the connectors go underneath right here just because mine's so rusty I couldn't get it apart so I cut it about right here and just put one of those squeeze clamps on um, up pipe bolts are always a pain in the butt the uh, the new up pipe bolts I got from GM were actually 13 millimeter. And the original ones are 12 millimeter, 12 points. The new ones are 13 millimeter, regular bolt heads. Uh, re redid my P PCV reroute lines. Put some nice uh, double double clamp zip ties on it. I have the Cat fuel filter mod from Sinister Diesel. A uh, EGT probe from Edge, Cognito upper A arms, Longhorn Fab Shop uh, tie rod braces. Uh, S and B filter, uh, Pro Fab EGR delete. Um, any little things I usually get little little OEM parts from Merchant Automotive or GM Parts Direct. Got the Merchant Automotive resonator delete. Um, I didn't put the heat shield on the exhaust side of the turbo back on. Mine's all mangled up and I really don't feel like it's that big of a deal. I guess we'll find out if it is or not. Um, I have a Kennedy diesel lift pump. The module for it is right here. Um, we got some eBay Bushwhacker look-alike fenders or fender flares because starting to rust out from Ohio. That's the uh, new intercooler pipe. Kind of hard to see. Longhorn Fab Shop, uh, extremely big traction bars. I believe they're 86 inch traction bars. I always get lots of comments about that. There's the old intercooler pipe. Um, driver's side up pipe heat shield. Figured that was optional as well. So I left it out. Turbo 
heat shield for the back. Had like a cracked bolt mount right there. That's pretty gross looking, so left it off. Uh, Kurt Hitch, because old stock one rusted out. Uh, Mag High Tech diff cover that also adds, uh, adds some uh, fluid capacity. The axle dump exhaust because where this Kurt Hitch goes is in the way of my uh, rear exit exhaust. So I was just kind of said screw it and put it right there. It's quite a drone in the cab on highway speeds and under heavy throttle load, but it's not too bad. That's about it. Give it the first start up the turbo and get the tires back on the fender well fender wells back in and take it for a spin well got it wrapped up up pipe new three inch driver's side intercooler pipe uh, yeah all back together all electrical connectors, belts back on. Left that heat shield off back there. Driver side up pipe, heat shield's off still. That's uh, gonna run it like that. Sure you can't hurt much. A few other mods have done to it. Uh, Merchant Automotive transfer case brace. Merchant Automotive pump rub kit. Uh, that PCV reroute, um, the resonator delete, um, the PPE ported fuel valve, alligator fuel race plug, um, I think I went over the front end parts, Cognito upper A arms, Longhorn Fab Shop traction bars, and tie rod braces. Cognito front end uh, stabilizer kit. Merchant Automotive. No, it's not Merchant Automotive. It's made by Fleece. I don't know if you can see it. It's the uh, little board that goes in so that when you turn your brights on, your regular low beams stay on as well which makes it quite a bit brighter and if I had fog lights they would stay on as well what else Transgo Junior uh, shift kit the Edge CTS Insight uh, I like that a lot more than I had the Bully Dog Watchdog that really wasn't as capable as this Edge um, brake control, tow brake, or trailer brake controller, this aluminum uh, fuel cap door, old door rust out all on the bottom, uh, bushwhacker look-alike, fender flares off eBay, literally a third of the price, airlift rear, uh, Air springs to help towing. Mag high tech diff cover. Kurt XD hitch. Old one rusted out. Uh, traction bars. Giant. 86 inch. I believe 86 inch. A little bigger than I wanted, but they're on there now. With the uh, three inch intercooler pipe, you have to relocate this bottom brake line. You can't see it. SMB filter with the dust cover. Just need to clean that. Clean that off. Uh, 
tow mirrors aren't factory, they came from Longhorn Fab Shop as well. They are heated and do have turn signals in them, but don't have the wiring module in my truck because it's just base model. Roll up windows. And I have some cheapo level 8 16 inch wheels, some Nitto Terra Grappler all terrains. Love the tires. Just doesn't have the uh, best balance to best balance on them. I've had them balanced twice and they still have a shake at about 70. It's probably just the cheap rims. Uh, no, it's not a, not a snap-on toolbox. It's a DZ toolbox. Just put that uh, logo on there. Got it off my toolbox. The uh, original DZ one fell off. WeatherTech. Rain guards, weather tech, uh, bug guard. This front of my hood has a lot of dings and there's some rust bubbleage. Uh, I do have LEDs in the daytime running lights and these uh, blue coated turn signals. About all I can think of off the top of my head. But, uh, a lot more videos to come. I'll, uh, try and get a good, uh, running video. This camera just doesn't have the best, uh, audio. We get a lot of wind noise with this camera. So, maybe there are GoPros in the f near future. So, uh, appreciate. Anybody yeah, I need you want to come around me. If uh, anybody has any questions about any specifics on the turbo uh, removal or install, just give me a comment. And I'll try and respond. It really wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was pretty much just remove everything to get to it, and once you get to the turbo, you just got. Two oil lines, two coolant lines, some electrical harness plugs, and uh, the pedestal bolts, up pipes, down pipe. It's pretty straightforward, not too complicated. Um, anybody that has a regular set of tools and a couple extra extension swivels will get it done. I uh, rec recommend uh, putting some PB blaster on those uh, up pipe bolts, up pipe bolts, and maybe letting it sit overnight. Um, just be prepared if you uh, snap one to pay a little bit more than expected at the GM dealer for some new up pipe bolts. Well, that's going to conclude this video. Uh, stay tuned for some more. Uh, content in the near future. Thanks for watching.